How London was, but I know you've relocated. Yes. How is it? How is it? Um, London is great because now I live here. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, well, I spend you know most of my time here. I split my time between here and New York, but I'm here a lot. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's so many questions when we said we were, as I was sort of telling you off camera. There's a lot of questions when we said we we're going to be interviewing Eve. So uh, yeah, let's jump straight into things. Okay. It's been 11 years since your last studio album. Yes and six since you started working on Lip Lock. Yes. Uh, I'm quite cleared up about your story, but for those that aren't, where have you been? Yeah, um, yeah, it's been, it's been a long time <laughs> since <laughs> the last studio album. Um, and, you know, I, I've actually, st I've been working, you know, I was supposed to put out an album after Tambourine, um, and unfortunately, I guess the label just start, started hating on me. <laughs> Not really, but kind of. Um, and, you know, we just started having problems within within the label and they stopped supporting the record, um, which, you know, it, it was a personal thing. And then it took a few years after that, you know, it took a few years for me to convince them to let me go. Um, and then after that, you know, it took a few years for me to find a label situation. And then when I did... I just didn't like what it was. It was, I was EMI, yeah, yeah, I was signed to EMI, um, and it, it was a horrible deal, you know. Um, and I would I would have come out of it with nothing really. Um, so I decided, you know, now I still made the record. Um, I did what I was supposed to do, but it just didn't make sense. And then finally, um, I you know I left EMI, and now I have my own situation called From the Rib Music. Um, so everything's independent, and it just felt right to put out an album right now. Okay, yeah. and um, you kind of <coughs> mentioned that you had an album at the time of Tambourine, and yes. interestingly it was called Lip Lock. What inspired you to keep the title? Yeah, um, I don't know. I, Lip Lock is a name that I kept because I, I'm the kind of person that likes to play on words. Um, like, Lip Lock to me means a lot of different things. Um, you know, Lip Lock smooches, kisses. Um, you know, my lips are one of my favorite things on me. <laughs> um, and then, you know, technically it's like lyrically locking the game down because I'm a lyricist. So, um, yeah, it just felt like a fun name. Cool. So we've heard the album, we're loving it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, it's been released independently this go round. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the reason, the process yeah. and the difference between releasing on a major. Okay. Um, yeah, it's this, this album, Lip Lock, is being released independently. Um, and there are so many differences, you know, I think being a label owner now, it's like, I know too much information. You know, as an artist, you get to sit back on, on a major label and people kind of make the decisions for you. You you just get used to it. You know, you become, a, you well, I won't say lazy, but you just don't expect anything else. So you don't know. Um, releasing this independently, I now have to think about so many things. You know, I have to think about whether it's, you know, the budget, um, whether it's, you know, what, uh, you know, what um, outlets I do interviews for. Um, you know, it, it's definitely different. It's more legwork. It's way more legwork. It's hard, it's, it's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Mama in the Kitchen and She Bad Bad are yes. our favorite tracks. Oh, nice. Yeah. What are yours? Um, Mama in the Kitchen is, well, so far my favorite tracks on the album. Um, Mama in the Kitchen is one of them. Eve is one of them. Um, what else? Um, uh, Keep Me From You with Dawn Richard is one of my favorites. It's, I call that my like my bubblegum and rainbow song because <laughs> it just makes me so happy. Um, but yeah, I think, oh, excuse me, those are my top three. Okay. <clears throat> and what is success for you with this project? What does success mean for you with this project? I gotta say, um, I already feel successful with this album because it finally happened, because it came out, because um, instead of me being frustrated with all the things that I went through um, and giving up, I was like, no, fuck that. This album needs to come out. I don't care what happens, I'm putting this album out. So I honestly do feel successful. I would be lying if I was like, I don't care if it doesn't sell, that'd be a lie. Because I do want it to sell, but I don't have any preconceived notions. I, you know, I think I'm, I'm in this album for the long haul. I think, you know, once people hear it and see me, um, see me back out and I'm more, you know, visual, it's gonna, it's the album that's gonna grow. So I love it. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> and 
following this project is signing with, re-signing with a major label, something that an idea that you'd entertain? I would sign my imprint from the rib music under a major label, okay. yes. If I decided to um, sign other artists, because I feel like, you know, with something like that, if I, if I did take on other artists, I think I would want to be, you know, under a bigger umbrella. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you're held as being one of the best female MCs of the modern era. Yeah. Um, so. That said, recent years have seen the visibility of female rappers reduced drastically. Yeah. Why do you think that's been? You know what? I get this question all the time. Um, where the hell are the female rappers? <laughs> I don't know. You know, what's crazy is I was talking to somebody about this the other day that in the UK, you guys have more female rappers than we do in the States, which is amazing. Um, but in the States, I don't know what happened. You know, I think it's so much play on, there's gotta be one hot female or one chick doing this, and it's so stupid to me. So hopefully that'll change soon though. Okay, you speak yeah. about uh, there being this demand for there to be like just one person. Yeah. Um, many would argue that one person for the last few years has been Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Um, even that, even said that, with all her success, she's kind of still critiqued for veering too left to the EDM right. dance pop arena. Yeah. Um, what do you think about her music, that side of her music catalog? I think people need to leave Nicki alone. I think she is an artist and she's doing what she wants to do. And I think, um, you know, she, we still know she can spit, you know. You know, I think hip hop is the only, I feel like, genre of music that makes people not feel like an artist. It's like, yeah, I'm a hip hop, I'm a lyricist, I'm an MC, but I still want to do other things. And I think that's okay. And I think she found the lane and she's living in it. Who else is doing it? Do it. Cool. And you really established the blueprint when it comes to being a 360 entity. So, you know, back in the day there was your music, there was your features, there was the fetish clothing line. Yeah. And of course there was an absolutely on point sitcom, <laughs> um, which we all really, really loved. What's next for Brand Eve? Yeah, um, wow. Um, what's next for Brand Eve? So many things. Um, there's a shoe line in the works right now. Um, and... I don't know. I mean, I feel like the doors are open so much more than, although I did a lot of stuff when I came out, there's so many other things to get into. So I don't know. I think I've been so focused on this album um, that the only thing I've actually talked about was a shoe line. So I don't know. I'm sure you'll see other things. Other things. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So rounding off, let's play a bit of a game. Okay. Okay. So picture this. You're in a studio finishing up the platinum edition of Lip Lock. Touch wood. Yeah. <laughs> the opportunity. Go the tree after this. <laughs> Opportunity arises to collaborate with one of the following Azealia Banks, mm -hmm. Iggy Azalea, or Lil Kim. Who would you pick and why? And it can't be all three. All right, that's a hard question. That's that's unfair, actually. Um, but I would have to say it probably would be Lil Kim. My collaboration would be with Lil Kim because I mean it's Kim. And you know, Kim was somebody I listened to when I was in high school smoking blunts in the back of somebody's car. So she has always been my girl. Although the other two you know, I like them. Um, actually, one of them I actually would not do one with, unfortunately. I can't. I won't say. I already, I already gotten some bullshit about something I said before because it wasn't. It was not that I don't like her. I think she's beautiful. I think she's hot, but it's just not my cup of tea. Does and she, that's okay. Does she talk a lot on Twitter? I'm not saying. Okay. You're not gonna get me caught up <laughs> in a Twitter beef now. <laughs> um, but no, you know. But to each his own. That's it. But Kim definitely for sure, because I love Kim, man. She's just, she's Kim. Do you see her coming back anytime soon? I hope so. She, you know, she's performing constantly in New York. She has a concert actually, um, shit, I think on Friday, next Friday in New York, Kim has a concert. So she, I think so. I hope so. You know, me, Missy and, and Kim did a track for Missy's album um, and maybe that will, you know, bring her back. Bring things up. Yeah. And finally, how does Eve want to be remembered? It's a good question. How do I want to be remembered? I don't know. I feel like I still have so much more to do. I feel like, you know, I would obviously love to be remembered for my music, but at the same time, I feel like there's so many things that I need to do. I, you know, I, I want to help people in the world, you know, um, I want to be known for making a difference in a way, in a real way, you know, not just, just with my music, just, just in a human way. So I don't know. I got stuff to do. Thank you very <laughs> much. Thank you.